Thanks all for joining us on Newsnight this evening. Thanks. Let's talk a little bit about the fact that this was this was first in, introduced. I think it was 1998. It was also introduced and then it was raised again in, in 2013, saying that we need to move it from 30 percent to 40 percent of the quota. It's been in existence for a long time, four years in the making. But now we're saying it must be implemented with immediate effect. Why now? But reasons are simple. That uh, we're saying it must be implemented now mm. because everybody at this point in time is able to reach the nationals in terms of the qualifying standard. Mm. Much as we know that most of our previously disadvantaged athletes still don't make it in some of the events, if I may mention one or two, event like Paul Volti, mm -hmm. event like Hamathro, like shot put. They are not there. Shot put, we are there. And then javelin? But not doing that much well. You see? Javelin, we are there. If I may say around javelin and shot put and mm. the rest, the field events, mm. we are not really there, mm. if one may say. Coming to track events, we are doing quite well. Even with there are no facilities in the I am so villages. glad you mentioned that point. Here's my question mm. now, Willie. Yes. There are no facilities currently. Let's be realistic, you and me. Yes. Especially in township schools. This, this is just township schools, never mind rural schools. Let's not even go into the rural schools. And villages. And villages. Let's not even go there. In township schools, there are no facilities. Rural schools, no facilities. Villages, no facilities. And yet these individuals must go now and access nationals and be scouted and still compete on a basis. How, can we not start with the basics of let's provide actual adequate support and actual facilities for these young people to actually participate at a school level before we even start imposing these quotas. Where are you going to get the 40% from if we don't even have access, access in those schools? Quite interesting. Maybe let's take it from this point. Mm. If you go back to 1994, mm. most of the Previously disadvantaged learners were based in township schools, villages, and the, the rural areas. Mm. Now, in the former Model C schools, the change has happened. We have some previously disadvantaged learners in those former Model C schools, mm. and in big numbers. And that has been happening, you know, the number has been increasing mm. since 2013 up to now. And we're saying to those learners that are there, at, exposed to the facilities, what is it that is happening? Yeah. Now, if you check, it's not all provinces that are actually not doing well in terms of the quota. The quota has been there. We're reminding people that remember the is this mm. that we Well, said you've said that it's been largely it ignored. So the yes. quota in itself has been ignored. And then I'm saying that, okay, it's good that you've got a quota, right? But there are questions around that quota. Number one, looking at a, a young person being able to get into a team simply because they're good on their merit, that they, can, that they actually can participate as an athlete. But number two, can we not go back to basics and actually build facilities so that these young people, and you, you as Sasa must put pressure on government and say, guys, build the facilities so that our young people can compete, so that we can make up this quota of 40% with people that are credible, that are adequate, that are there on merit, and not just because of the color of their skin. Uh, in terms of facilities, mm. even today we had a meeting at the National Office of Department of Sports and Recreation. Mm. We raised this question that we need to talk about facilities. Mm. Now, if you look at all nine provinces, you will not believe what I will say just now. Northern Cape, as a province, we don't have a tartan track in Northern Cape as a province. Do you see what my point is now? That we don't even have a track not in the Northern Cape. A whole province does not have a track, but even, we Bumalang. even Bumalang. And it goes on and on and on. So then my question to you is, you know, we don't want a situation where you're putting a plaster on a sore instead of actually being able to clean the wound before you put that plaster on. When are you going to start saying to them, we're holding you to account that you need to build facilities? It's not nice that ch children in, in rural schools and in townships don't have the facilities, but we're expecting them to fulfill this 40% quota. It's not okay. You would agree with me that it's not okay. Uh, I would say it's okay. 
looking at the population in the country, mm -hmm. if you look at the black population, it's a, almost 80% or 85%. Now you look at the other racial groups, they share a certain percentage, if not 10%. Mm -hmm. Now what we are saying is, in the absence of that, we have been doing well right now. If you look at Athletic South Africa, you'll see how many of the previously disadvantaged are coming through. I don't want to mention names. Mm -hmm. But now if you come to school, you'll find that they are there. Now what has been disturbing is, which it's what people don't want to talk about most of the time, that is that poverty that makes it difficult for those athletes to go up to national. Mm. Only when we get a support from government, those athletes make it to national. Surely then we're speaking now, the same that language, that in order for us to be able now. to get to national, we need to be able to put pressure on government so government can make access to those facilities, so those facilities can capacitate those children, and those children can get there at that 40% on how good they are, not necessarily because they have their skin color. No, no, they are not going there because of their skin color. Yeah. They are going there having uh, competed with their counterpart. Mm. Rem remember, we are a development structure that feeds the athletic South Africa. Yeah. And if we don't make a start now, when will we make a start? On that note, we're going to have to leave our conversation there, but I'm sure it's not the last time we have an engagement. Yes. Uh, thank you so much, William, for joining us this evening. Shedding some light in terms of uh, those 40% quota that needs to be introduced, the South African Schools Athletics Chairperson, uh, William Mukatsanyani, giving us the latest on that.